Welcome back to another tier list video, and today we're going to be ranking chain restaurants. Now, these are not fast food restaurants. These are just, like, general chain rest restaurants, like sit-down restaurants. Uh, so let's go and get right into it, starting off with Applebee's. I think Applebee's is a solid B tier. Nothing spectacular, but it's not terrible. I absolutely love Buffalo Wild Wings. I love wings. Uh, I love their street tacos. Absolutely incredible. Uh, never had California Pizza Kitchen. Uh, can't even read what that says. Never had that. Chili's. I think that Chili's is slightly better than Applebee's, I'll be honest. So it's going in the A tier for me. I consider Ch uh, Chipotle to be fast food, but it is on here, so uh, I'll put it in the A tier, I guess. Cracker Barrel, I used to really like this place, but honestly, as time goes on, I'm just, like, not a huge fan of it anymore. Uh, everything they have, I feel like somewhere else does it better, so I'm going to have to put it in the F tier, unfortunately. Uh, but it used to be good, though. It used to be good. Denny's is going to go like a D tier. D for Denny's. You know, it's just it's nowhere near as good as IHOP. And speaking of IHOP, that's going to be a solid A tier for me. I think IHOP is probably the best breakfast diner that you can find. Uh, Longhorn Steakhouse. I haven't been to that one. Uh, McAllister's Deli is so overrated. I had to wait like two hours just to get my food, and the food was lackluster at best. So, uh, yeah, not the best. Mellow Mushroom. I've had this place like once or twice, and I remember it being okay. Nothing crazy. Uh, never had Moe's. I think that says Charlie's, but I've never had that. Uh, Olive Garden. I think it's good, but they don't have too many options outside of pasta or, like, soups and stuff, so it's going to go in the B tier for me. Uh, Outback Steakhouse. Ooh, I'm tempted to go S tier. Hmm, I don't think I'm going to do it. I think it's a very, very good steakhouse. Uh, most of the food's pretty good. Bloom and Onion, absolutely spectacular. This is, this is like, top of A tier for me, but, uh, yeah. Panera, it's okay. It's whatever, D tier. Red Lobster, ooh, again, getting so close to breaking that A-tier barrier. <sighs> Does Red Lobster do it? I don't think so. It's just too limited to seafood. Uh, Red Robin, yum. Uh, it's going to go in the C-tier. Ruby Tuesdays, uh, like a, a D, obviously. It's okay. It's not, it's not great. Uh, Texas Roadhouse, hmm, that's gonna have to be, like, a solid C for me, uh, I don't think it's anywhere near, uh, on the level of Outback, but it's not terrible, uh, TGI Fridays, oh, again, it's so close, yeah, I'm gonna put it up there, I think it deserves to be in the S tier, uh, we go, me and my family go there on a regular basis, uh, and it's really, really good. Uh, the Cheesecake Factory never had. Waffle House, I don't remember ever eating at a Waffle House and never heard of these other two. So, uh, yeah, that is the uh, chain restaurant sit-down tier list. Uh, if you guys did enjoy this video, then make sure you can subscribe. I'm doing more and more tier list videos as time goes on because you guys really seem to enjoy them. They're real easy to film. I don't really have to edit them at all. Uh, and uh, I like doing them. So, uh, yeah, if you guys did enjoy this video, then make sure you can subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one. Peace.